Good news first, the world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia, government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels, and 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled Olasad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now, word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out of selection. His name's Soap. Has happened. What appears to be an explosion of epic proportions. This remains sketchy and unconfirmed. Damage appears high. to be total. To set off what appears to have been a nuclear explosion in his own country. Oh, 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 You drink, but a pint of stout. <laughs> I'm gonna have to school y'all both when we get back stateside. Yeah, well, either way, we're stopping in London first. And I'm buying. Well, at least the world didn't then. Hit it. Captain Price, Al-Assad just executed President Al-Falani on national television. 
The Americans have plans for all Assad, and it's too late to do anything for all Falani. But in less than three hours, codename Nikolai will be executed. Nikolai, sir? Nikolai is our informant in the ultra-nationalist camp. He supplied the intel on the cargo ship operation. Nikolai's in hell right now. We're gonna walk him out. We take care of our friends. Let's move. as U.S. Marines continue to push towards the capital city in pursuit of Khaled al-Assad. Sporadic fighting can be heard as the bulk of al-Assad's forces fall back towards the presidential palace. Command, this is Lieutenant Vasquez. War pig is en route. We're not missing this party. Possible fix on all the side in the capital city. First battalion is en route. Intel gathered by SAS indicates that Al Assad may have a Russian warhead. Speed is critical. Nest teams have been deployed to the area. Force recon and wild weasel units have taken out most of the air defenses, but Al Assad's ground forces still pose a serious threat. Looks like we're rolling in with everything we got. We get Al Assad. We end this war right here, right now. Lock and load, Marines.
I was just a lieutenant back then, doing some wet work. Chernobyl, Christmas for the bad guys. Even a decade later, a lot of them still used it to get their hands on nuclear material. A lot of them, including one, Imran Zakayev. Of course, we couldn't just let that happen. Cash for spent fuel rods. <laughs> That's one hell of a recipe for destruction. It was the first time our government had authorized an assassination order since the Second World War. I was under the command of Captain Macmillan. ETA on the choppers at least half an hour, Captain Price. No good. We'll be corpses for ten minutes by then. Every ultra-nationalist psycho in Zakayev's pocket is about to show up on our doorstep, coming to claim all that's hard. Or what's left of him. Right. We'll set charges along Phase Line Alpha on the Southern Hill. And more along Phase Line Bravo. We'll delay them all the way back to the top and hold our ground at the extraction point in the fields around the farm. Any questions? Let's do this. Well, we got that bastard. Still, he's not the one responsible for killing your Marines. Sorry, mate. Imran's a curve, huh? Man's a ghost. Intel says he's gone underground. Well, I got a plan to find him. I'm listening. Daddy's boy. It's a KF son, commander of the ultra-nationalist forces in the field. Rotten apple doesn't fall far from the tree. The loyalist Kamarov has got a location on the kid. Ah, uh, and the little punk will know how to find Zakaia. The sins of our fathers. <laughs> Ain't it a bitch? Cult leaders prostituted us to the West, destroyed our culture, our economies, our honor. Our blood has been spilled on our soil. My blood on their hands. They are the invaders. All US and British forces will leave Russia immediately or suffer the consequences. It's quite simple. Either we retake the launch facility or we won't recognize the world tomorrow. Green light to Halo. Charlie team, go. Second drop approaching. Bravo team, stay tight. Go! Six fleets mopping up. Time to move in. Long history of this building. No much of it pretty. It started out as a castle with an actual dungeon. Built to withstand any siege. The building survived every brutal winter. The occupants, they weren't so lucky. The monastery didn't survive the purges. Over the last century has played host to anyone the government didn't want but couldn't kill. The place is filled with living casualties of the last war, which I swear I thought we'd won. And I suppose it's all a day of the races. You back the losing horse and this is where you end up. 627's the piece to meet Makarov once, so let's cut him loose. Link 
nearly complete. General Shepard, you're online with Captain Price. Back from the brink, Captain. Out of the frying pan is more like it. This world looks more like hell than the one I just left. We thought we'd recovered the ACS before the Russians could crack it. We were wrong. Then Makarov turned the U.S. into a scapegoat. Next thing you know, there's flames everywhere. What's this image you're sending me? You want to put out an old fire, sir? You set off a bigger explosion right next to it. Sucks away the oxygen, snuffs the flame. Price, you've been locked away too long. Better get your mind right, son. Shepard, are you willing to do what is necessary to win? Always. We got ourselves a pretty big fire. Gonna need a huge bang. You've been in the gulag too long, Price. Focus on taking out Makarov. No time, sir. We need to end this war today. I'm not asking you, Price. This is an order. You're the... Hmm. Looks like we lost our connection. It's been a tough week, gentlemen. We've lost more than we ever dreamed. But we will recover. I've got a blank check, and we're gonna use every cent of it killing Makarov. Despite what the world may say, we are not savages. We don't kill civilians. We use precision. There's an evil man hiding in these shadows, and we're gonna bring him into the light. Once his face is revealed, we will write history, gentlemen. These are the last safe havens left on Earth for Makarov and his men. Sounds like we gotta be in two places at once. Impossible? Not for the 141. 50 50 chance to take out Makarov, eh? Captain Price, request permission to take the safe house with Roach. Granted. Soap and I will take the boneyard in Afghanistan. Very well. We will cut off all avenues of escape. This ends now. Strange. Could have sworn we ended this war yesterday. They're dead, so. Shepard's cleaning house. I'm working my way back to you. Never betrayed us. Have to trust someone to be betrayed. I never did. Nikolai, come in. Do you have our location? Da, inbound price. But I am not the only one. You've got Shepard's men on one side, Makaro's on the other. We'll have to take them all out, then. Or to let them take each other out. Either way, I'll see you on the other side, my friend. things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. We fought and bled alongside the Russians. We should have known they'd hate us for it. History is written by the victor, and here I am thinking we'd won. But you bring down one enemy and they find someone even worse to replace him. Locations change, the rationale, the objective. Yesterday's enemies are today's recruits. Train them to fight alongside you and pray they don't eventually decide to hate you for it too. Same shit, different day. You know what I'm looking for, Sergeant Foley. Keep your eyes open. Got a new badge hit in the pit today, sir. I'll send you the best I find.
This is for the record. History is written by the victor. History is filled with liars. If he lives and we die, his truth becomes written and ours is lost. Shepard will be a hero, because all you need to change the world is one good lie and a river of blood. He's about to complete the greatest trick a liar ever played on history. His truth will be the truth, but only if he lives and we die. Gentlemen, the missile specter puts it en route to the East Coast. We will lose the White House. We've rebuilt it before. We'll rebuild it again. Casualties? Possibly 30 to 50,000. Depends on the exact location of the detonation. All systems will go down. General Shepard, you warned us. We should have listened. When they speak of this moment, we will not be the ones who stood guard while America died. One man is responsible for all this. Makarov must be brought to light. Whatever you need, General. We've got a blank check. military force in the history of man. Every fight is our fight. Because what happens over here matters over there. We don't get to sit one out. Learning to use the tools of modern warfare is the difference between the prospering of your people and utter destruction. We can't give you freedom, but we can give you the know-how to acquire it. And that, my friends, is worth more than a whole army base of steel. Sure, it matters who's got the biggest stick, but it matters a hell of a lot more who's swinging it. This is a time for heroes, a time for legends. History is written by the victors. Let's get to work. for your undercover assignment. So Makarov is the prize. Makarov's no prize. He's a whore, a mad dog killer for the highest bidder. Just remember your new identity. It'll keep you alive. Welcome to the 141. Best hand-picked group of warriors on the planet. It's an honor, sir. When do I meet the rest of the team? They're on a mission recovering a downed ACS module behind enemy lines. Their feet wet? Imagine they're just about freezing right now. The Russians ain't gonna let this massacre go unanswered. It's gonna get bloody. Too right, mate. Now in the eyes of the world, they're the victims. No one's gonna say a word when the Russians club every American they can reach. 
Makarov was one move ahead. Now he's left thousands of bodies at the feet of an American. We're the only ones who know it was Makarov's up. Our credibility died with Alan. We need proof. Follow the shell. Alejandro Rojas. Never had him, son. You know him as Alex the Red. He supplied the assault. One bullet to unleash the fury of a whole nation. Which means that... He's our ticket to Makarov. San Bravo, we're reading 70 bogeys in your sector. Please verify. <laughs> Very funny station. That's a big negative, over. Yeah, it might be a glitch in one of the ACS modules. San Bravo, be advised, running diagnostics to scan for malfunction. The skies are clear, station. You've got yourself some phantom dots. Over. Zulu X-ray 6, signs in your sector of some 100 bogeys. Please advise. Negatory station. Scope is clear. I don't know what to tell you. Solar interference, heavy sunspot activity today. Sierra Delta, uh, we may have a minor ACS fault here. Do you have anything on your scope? Sierra Delta, repeat. I'm looking at fighter jets over I-95! How the hell did they get through? Stand by, attempting to contact the nearest unit in that sector. I read you. This is 1st Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment. Sergeant Foley, acting commander of Hunter 2-1. Do you copy? Over. All stations be advised. Satellite surveillance has been disabled. Sosas and Paypal's rays are inoperative at this time. Killing a thousand Americans for every dead civilian in Moscow. Looks like we're all our friends. I know a guy. Let's find a payphone. If they still exist. All we've got out of Rojas is that the only guy Makarov hates worse than Americans is locked up in a gulag. That's all we've got. If this con's the bait to catch that psychopath, let's hang him from a tree. that damn TV. My task force is out of the country. I'm commandeering your unit, Sergeant Foley. Yes, sir. All yours, sir. I've requisitioned the striker from the 8th Armored. Honey Badger's a mean bitch, sir. She'll walk you in. The Russians are burning through our defenses and our intel. Can't let them take this corner. Just point it out on the map, sir. They won't hit you. Seems we're headed the wrong direction, sir. Shouldn't we be coming back to the fight? Plenty of fight to go around, McTavish. Glad you made it out of South America. You're meeting up with the 6th Fleet, leading the counter-strike. 
Prisoner 627. We believe that's who Makarov's got the mad on for, but we can't get to him. Oil rigs, sir? Russians are using them as SAM sites. Oil workers are human shields, so we can't just blow up the rigs wholesale. And this one is the least defended. Boys, I know I'm sending you into the meat grinder on this one. We're defending it, so it means we want it. Especially if it gets us to 627. Good UMP. They've got a thousand. We don't even know if Makarov's intel's any good. Price? Price? The healthy human mind doesn't wake up in the morning thinking this is its last day on Earth. But I think that's a luxury, not a curse. To know you're close to the end is a kind of freedom. Good time to take inventory. Outgunned, outnumbered out of our minds on a suicide mission. But the sand and rocks here, stained with thousands of years of warfare, they will remember us for this. Because out of all our vast array of nightmares, this is the one we choose for ourselves. We go forward like a breath exhaled from the earth, with vigor in our hearts and one goal in sight. We will kill him. ACS, Alan. Two men took down an entire base. I ask much more from you now. Yesterday you were a soldier on the front lines, but today, front lines are history. Uniforms are relics. The war rages everywhere, and there will be casualties. This man, Makarov, is fighting his own war and he has no rules, no boundaries. He doesn't flinch at torture, human trafficking, or genocide. He's not loyal to a flag or a country or any set of ideals. He trades blood for money. He's your new best friend. You don't want to know what it's cost already to put you next to him. It will cost you a piece of yourself. It will cost nothing compared to everything you'll save. What's the sit rep on New York? The Russian jamming rigs have neutralized our air support. As long as they maintain air dominance, it's a losing fight. We cannot lose New York. Are there any special mission units in the area we can request? JSOC's got a Delta Force team at Bennett Field. Call sign Metal. Overlord, Metal Zero One is up on Greensat. This is Sandman. Understand we are OpCon to you. Over. Glad to have you in our corner, Sandman. The Russians are using electronic countermeasures to jam our comms and guidance systems. The primary emission tower is on top of the stock exchange. I need your team to destroy it. The jammer's full spectrum, so until it's down, you'll have no radio contact. I have ground assets to get you close. Over. Copy all. We'll get it done. Friendly call signs. We are no longer on the defensive. I repeat, consolidate and counterattack. This is ODA Foxtrot! The Russians are disengaging! We got them on their heels! Beyond the jagged edges of war, there were still Russians who rejected Makarov's lunacy. Men willing to stand against the tide. Price, we've got vital signs, but they're weak. Sub won't last without proper attention. He's a hard bastard. Trust me, he'll make it. We're picking up inbound signatures. We've got company. It's Makarov. He's tying up loose ends. Who's your best man? Yuri. ex -Spitznas. Only man I know who hates Makarov more than you. Get him. They'll use the ridgeline for cover and fly in from the south. How do you know? 
It's what I do. They say truth is the first casualty of war. But who defines what's true? is flying to Hamburg to negotiate a peace treaty with NATO delegates. Truth is just a matter of perspective. However, many Russians still blame America for the massacre at Sakaev Airport. The duty of every soldier is to protect the innocent, and sometimes that means preserving the lie of good and evil, that war isn't just natural selection played out on a grand scale. But for now, it looks like the world may finally know peace. The only truth I've found is that the world we live in is a giant tinderbox. All it takes is someone to light the match. Uh, the Russian president never arrived in Hamburg for the peace summit. With his whereabouts currently unknown, no one is certain what this means for the peace treaty. Looks like Makarov just played his next hand. If he puts himself back on the grid, he wants it to be known. So where do we start hunting? Africa. Makarov's been using local paramilitary group to move shipments into Sierra Leone. From there, they go towards Morocco and into Spain. He's moving north. Right towards Her Majesty's doorstep. What's the cargo? I don't know, but it's important to him. Then I want it. We can use the river to get in close. There's a factory in the camp where they store the shipments. The PRF's been waging genocide in the Highlands for months. They'll be everywhere. Makarov wouldn't let this travel lightly if it didn't serve a greater purpose. And chances are the bastard will be there personally to see things off. If he's back on the grid, then so are we. Guidance systems are back online. Standing by with a full payload of Jade Amps. Requesting clearance. Lightning 3-1, you are cleared to engage. Bring in the hard deck. DOT, five seconds. Weapons away. Verify initial strikes on the Predator feed. Sir, it appears all sites have been neutralized. Good work, Sandman. We've regained air dominance over Manhattan and pushed the front line back to the river. What's our next target? The Russian command vessel is an Oscar II submarine carrying enough cruise missiles to level the eastern seaboard. We need to strike fast before they can launch a counterattack. Roger, what's the mission? Infiltrate the vessel, take over the bridge, then turn their weapons against their own fleet. I need you to link up with the SEALs and get it done. Good luck. Get up, boys. Where's our infill point? Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. I thought it collapsed. It did. Ici la station Corse, nous avons intercepté un message crypté. It done. That's it, they go London now. Prévenez les renseignements britanniques que nous avons un problème. The French just intercepted a message concerning a suspicious shipment headed for British soil. Have we identified the vessel? No, sir. The call came from a number on the watch list for Fregatta Industries. Wake up MI5 and notify them that we have an imminent threat. Gentlemen. What do we know? Nothing solid. Special branch is sweeping up known persons of interest, but we advise tasking SAS to investigate Tier 1 threats. Patch me through to Hereford. Ma'am, I understand we have unknown hostiles expecting a package. MI5 has identified several possible points of entry. Be advised, the nature of the cargo is currently unknown. Roger. My team is making ready. We'll be on plot within the hour. Don't worry, ma'am. Whatever they're up to, we'll put a stop to it. At 6.22 Greenwich Mean Time, chemical attacks were triggered across Europe. I repeat, Downing Street is within a contamination radius. Over! It's being called the worst terror event in history. This is GIT and HQ. Uh, my men are dead or dying. <laughs> I've been exposed. This is Ramstein. We're under attack. Roger, we are aware of the gas attack and are sending decon units your way. Not the gas. We're under attack by Ramstein. 
Russian ground forces. Say again, Ramstein. What Russian forces? The entire Russian army. Request immediate assistance. Our witnesses are now reporting Russian tanks rolling down the Champs Elysees. This was no act of terrorism. The attacks were intended to cripple our defenses and pave the way for an invasion. We need to hit them now with everything we've got. Sir, we've lost contact with the delegation in Hamburg. Metal Zero One, this is Overlord Actual. You are being rerouted for Hamburg. We've got a principal level hostage rescue. Who is it? The Vice President. Identify yourself. Mac, this John. We put a lot of names in the clock tower this week, lad. It was Makarov. The bastard slipped through my fingers in Sierra Leone. What does MI6 know? Oh, you're on everyone's shit list, John. There's no way I could get you clearance. Don't give me that. You still owe me for Pripyat, and I'm calling it in. Easy, son. All right. We've traced the delivery freighter to an outfit in Bosaso, Somalia. It's run by a nasty piece of work named Morabi. My hands are full with the bleeding at home, so you're on your own. Good hunting. What's the security look like? Strictly second division. Local triggermen guard the compound. We'll stick out like bollocks in a bulldog. Stealth's not an option. Then we just have to kick in the front door. Tell Nikolai to ready his men. Black Viking. Get me a secure line to asset metal zero one. Bryce, thanks for the tip on Kingfish. You should know Uncle Sam's got a kill capture order on your head. Tell him to join the bloody queue. Macross bomb maker, Volk, is in Paris. We need to act before he bolts and I can't make the window. You're the only one I trust with this. I'm on it. The bastard used Fregatta Industries as a front to distribute the WMDs. I'm en route to their European HQ. French Special Forces have located Volk. GIGN tracked him deep behind enemy lines, but they're pinned down. And you want us to unpin them? Prosecute the target as needed, but Volk comes back alive. President and National Security Council. Mr. President. General, have you found Makarov yet? No, but we received actionable intelligence on his bomb maker. The situation is developing. Developing? Do you have him or not? A Delta team just took him down. I'm sending you the footage now. What's their status? They have Volk in custody, but their OPSEC's been compromised. In English, General, please. They're gonna have to shoot their way to the extraction point. General, I want this man Volk alive. I don't care what it takes. You bring those men home in one piece. Did a man talk? They always talk. We got names, dates, locations. Bolt gave us everything. Even forgot her. It seems your hunch was right, Captain. Makarov's already making friends. He's meeting with his top advisor six hours from now. Location is the Hotel Lustig. It's in the center of the city, near the old square. We have tier one groups assigned to handle this, but I don't think they'll make it in time. But you're close. Very. I'll contact you when it's done. Nagarov's council all together in the middle of a war zone. Sounds convenient. Overconfidence makes you careless. We'll infiltrate along two separate routes, so you and Yuri head for the church and provide overwatch. The city's locked down tight. We'll need a bank door. Leave that to me. Which vehicle will he be in? The constant literal dead for security. We won't know until he steps out. You seem to know a lot about Makarov. Alpha-1, radio check over. Bravo-1, copy. We're dug in mid-line of sight. Right. Kamarov's our eyes and ears inside the hotel. Once he gives us the nod, we'll kick this off. What do you see? 
Bugger all, mate. Looks like Makarov's late for his own funeral. Sit tight until we get a clean shot. Then you can put as many rounds on him as you like. It'll only take one. There's a clock tower in Hereford where the names of the dead are inscribed. We try to honor their deeds, even as their faces fade from our memory. Those memories are all that's left when the bastards have taken everything else. What happened? He killed Soap. He's gone, Mac. What do you need from me, son? A location. Our Russian says Makarov used to cache weapons at an old castle near Prague. He's got nothing more solid than that. Can you trust him? What choice do I have? He's got his own reasons for wanting Makarov dead. Place ring any bells? Aye. We ran drones over a suspect castle back in Zakiev's day. But we never got wind of our targets visiting the area. What am I up against? The place is a fortress. Only one way in or out. Hmm. Unless you've learned to fly. Security office on the far side of the compound, and a command center north of that. Both were heavily guarded. If Makarov's there, he'll be in that control room. What's this you're sending me? Equipment list. That's a lot of hardware, John. What you plan on doing? What you taught me to do. Kill them all. Makarov's tracked Vorshevsky's daughter to Berlin. If they find the girl, it's only a matter of time till he gives up the nuclear codes. Do we have her exact location? Triangulating now. ISA cell phone snipers just intercepted a call from her. Passing it through in three, two, one. Alana Vershevsky? Kutota. American Special Forces, do you speak English? Yes, my security's dead. They're coming for me. Stay calm, we're en route to you now. Where are you exactly? Closet, fifth floor suite. Which side? I, I don't know. There's a building across the road. A sign on the roof says Riesdorf. Please hurry. Okay, put the phone down and don't move. We'll come to you. Athena is still with us. Weapons tight and don't throw any shots. Looks like the Hilo took her to a diamond mine in Siberia. We're gonna have one shot to grab the president before he gives up the launch codes. A Makarov turns Europe into glass. Once we get boots on the ground, it's gonna get a lively down there. Hopefully you can keep up, old man. I know you Yanks like to take all the credit, so Yuri and I'll keep the neighbors in check while we roll hard to secure the hostages. Okay, weapons tight, guys. No one likes a dead hostage. What's the score, boss? Everyone's hostile. Ain't that the truth? We cross now to the Rose Garden, where the President is holding a press conference with Russian Premier Vorshevsky to formally announce an end to the hostilities. On this historic day, the representatives of two great nations stand before you united. There's a simplicity to war. Attacking is the only secret. Dare, and the world yields. A chapter in which we pursue peace. How quickly they forget that all it takes to change the course of history is the will of a single man. Who's this? Prisoner 627. I'm coming for you, Makarov. Haven't you heard, Price? They say the war is over. My war ends with you. Like it ended for Captain McTavish? Tell me, Price, how long did it take him to die? I've destroyed your world piece by piece. It's only a matter of time until I find you. You won't have to look far. 